Now, there is the holdout problem. Mm -hmm. And that is, I want to build a road from Florida to uh, California. I want to build I-10. How many people own land between Florida and, and California? I don't know, 10 million or whatever the number is. And my favorite uh, holdout is, is um, a Cartman from South Park. Yes. Are you in South Park? Yeah, I love uh, South Park. Cartman is my favorite character. You know, uh, uh, his motto is screw you guys, screw you guys, screw you guys. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm sorry? Hey, he says, yeah, screw you guys. I'm taking my ball and going home. Right, that's yeah. right. And, and Cartman owns, uh, say, some land in, in Texas. And Cartman says, you know, screw you. I don't care what, you know, uh, I'm not selling. Now, here you're Cartman, and you have to defend 10 square miles. And all I have to do is get 150 feet through. Uh, I'm talking six lane with a, a green sward in between. You know, each lane is 10 feet wide. So that's 30 feet and, and 40 feet and 30 feet. All I have to do is get 100 feet through you. You have to defend 10,000, uh, uh, rather 1,000, uh, uh, what did I say, 10 miles. I'm going to win. Yeah, so I think I think the point there is is that uh, there are alternate routes for any for any road, right? Within certain reason, right? I mean, um, on on the roads, and I think one of those is one of those market solutions is the concept of options contracts, right? Where you go you go to the private property owner and you say, okay, Mr. Private Property Owner, I don't want to buy your land just yet, but if I were to buy your land, how much will you sell it to me for? And they name you know two hundred thousand dollars, whatever it might be. And you say, okay, well then I will pay you a fee to hold that option open for me because I may or may not need your land. How much do you want for that option? And then you pay that option fee. And then now Cartman is all of a sudden surrounded by people who have options on their property that are slightly worse routes, but it prevents him from holding out because I can go that route and I can chain these options together to actually achieve my, my road. And the example I would give similar to this is what happened with Walt Disney World um, down in Florida, you know, they went through several LLCs and several uh, different listings agents and slowly bought up enough land to buy Walt Disney World without paying a high premium. And in their case, they needed a huge continuous block of land, unlike the road that just needs kind of that path going through that you were talking about. No, no, you're quite right. I, I do have that in the book. Any reasonable thing, there's not going to be any Cartman that owns any uh, amount of land. What you're going to do is, is you might say, look, there are, you don't have to go the way the crow flies. You don't have to go exactly, um, uh, 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 what do you call it, a, a perpendicular line or mm -hmm. horizontal line. Uh, you can go a little wavy. Uh, there are mountains. You, you, can, you might I don't think anybody disputes that. If you, look at any, if you look at any map of the interstate system today, they're not in straight lines. As a matter of fact, there's a great example um, from Montana with, uh, with uh, uh, I-90, where a senator brought the road up into Montana before it continued west not because there was a need for traffic or because people in Montana necessarily wanted the interstate. He was just a powerful senator, and that's where the road landed, and that's, that happens time and time again. Oh, you had the same thing in Alaska, the road to nowhere. Some mm -hmm. senator got a lot of money, and he put a road, and nobody goes there. I mean, that's just government. But, uh, but the point is, uh, in any realistic scenario, you say, look, there are five ways we can go, A, B, C, D, E. And uh, you can tell people, we want to have a road, and you guys get together, and as soon as you get me the options, we'll go that route. Hello, I'm Anthony Coleman. Thank you for watching this clip. If you enjoyed this clip from my show, you can click in the upper right-hand corner to see the full episode, or you can click in the upper left-hand corner to see other clips. Thank you, and welcome to the Economic Circus.